I am pretty good. Any changes to your district? Um, well, that's not what I called in about, but uh, but now that you but you have asked, so uh, uh, basically from the perspective of the district of Mount Pearl South, mm-hmm. uh, there's been absolutely zero change mm-hmm. to the existing um, district in terms of the Mount Pearl piece. Mm-hmm. What has changed is that uh, added to it would be Southlands and Southbrook. Okay. Interesting. Which uh, was formerly, or well, which is currently, I should say, part of the Kilbride district. Right. Okay, so it has a few more bodies in it, for sure. Yeah, I think it's about 37. I think it, I think if the numbers are, um, are correct, I think it was like 10,500 an hour up to 14,200 or something like that. So it's about 3,500, 3,600 uh, more people added. Yeah. So you're actually going to have a piece of another municipality in your district? Yeah, well, uh, actually, uh, even with the current district, uh, I mean, it's not a very big piece, but with the current district, technically, uh, I'm uh, both an MHA representing Mount Pearl and St. John's because I do have two houses on Brookfield Road <laughs> that are actually in my district now that are prior to St. John's. There was three. Uh, one burned down, we're down to two. <laughs> but, uh, but uh, you know, but um, that said, uh, you know the big, you know it's a significant change in terms of the numbers and and in terms of uh, putting that piece there. But uh, you know, uh, I certainly look forward to uh, uh, serving the people of Southlands. Absolutely. All right. So we'll we'll find out from them how they feel about it. But uh, what Absolutely. did what did you want to talk about? Volunteer Week. I I did I did. And um, and uh, Pete it was a couple of pieces there. First of all, I guess just. Uh, in, from the general perspective of Volunteer Week, uh, you know, I just wanted to uh, certainly congratulate and thank all the volunteers, uh, you know, throughout Newfoundland and Labrador, and, and obviously in particular within the city of uh, Mount Pearl. Uh, you know, Mount Pearl, if there's one thing Mount Pearl is known for, it's our great volunteers, and we have numerous community groups and organizations and numerous uh, committees and individuals and you know whether they be part of a service club whether they be part of sports groups and organizations uh, whether they be volunteering in schools in the chur- uh, in the churches or uh, for community events and so on uh, you know we certainly wouldn't be able to uh, operate the way we do if we didn't have them and i just want to extend uh, congratulations and a big thank you to them and in particular i also wanted to mention the fact that uh, uh, I had the pleasure of attending uh, Mount Pearl Citizen of the Year event this past uh, Saturday night, and we had six tremendous uh, uh, nominees, and uh, certainly two of those, uh, uh, what happened was, was six, and uh, they had such a tough time, I guess, deciding that they, uh, they in the end, they decided they were going to go with uh, two citizens of the year uh, this year. And it could have been any two of the six, but the two that were chosen were uh, Jim Greenland. And uh, Jim is a longtime community volunteer uh, in Mount Pearl and been involved with the, uh, he was one of the, uh, I think he might have been the second uh, chair of the Mount Pearl Frosty Festival and uh, been involved with the K40 Club, the Kinsman Club, the Shriners uh, Club, the uh, Masonic Lodge, uh, the Children's Wish Foundation, you name it. Uh, Jim has been involved, and of course, uh, whenever there's any community events like the Mount Pearl Frosty Festival and things like that, Jim usually goes out and volunteers. He uh, he's a great singer, and uh, and he uh, always volunteers to participate in the variety shows and the Irish pub nights and all that kind of stuff. And mm-hmm. that's all volunteer. And uh, the second individual was Dan Marr, and uh, Dan has been. Uh, uh, for the last, I'm not sure how many years it is, I'm going to say 20 for sure, probably more than that, uh, that uh, any event that takes place in Mount Pearl, whether it be uh, Mount Pearl City Days, Frosty Festival, or the different uh, awards events we have throughout the year for sports and other activities, Dan uh, takes all the pictures, photographer takes all the pictures uh, for all those events. He's taken literally... Uh, thousands, tens of thousands of pictures, and uh, he does that as a volunteer. And, of course, he's also been very involved um, with the uh, St. John Ambulance as well as the Mount Pearl Special Olympics um, or two other big things he's been involved in. He's been involved in a lot more than that, but those are a couple of big things that come to mind. And 
both of these individuals have certainly made a tremendous contribution to the city of Mount Pearl, and uh, they were honored last Saturday night, and I just want to publicly congratulate them on that. Great. I think it is uh, true to say, say that uh, a lot of communities, uh, one of the leading factors in whether or not they prosper is you know, the quality and the number of their volunteers. It's something we don't uh, always pay enough attention to. It's critical, and uh, I think everybody owes it to their community at some point in their lives, if not uh, throughout, you know, to uh, to give back and do whatever they can when they can. And, and uh, by and large, people do. You know, people always find the right time in their lives and the right uh, causes to support, and uh, we, we sure hope they keep doing that. Well, absolutely. And, uh, you know, uh, I know that the government, um, um, I know it was last year or the year before or something, I think they actually calculated, and I can't remember what the number is, but there was actually a calculation done of the number of hours that are volunteered in this province and then to translate that into uh, dollars and cents if you had to actually pay people to do what volunteers do and it was just like a phenomenal number and bottom line is is that many of the programs and services and community activities and so on that we have throughout the province uh, if it were not for volunteers we just simply wouldn't be able to do it so we owe them all uh, a great deal of thanks for, you know, making our communities just that, communities. Absolutely. And, uh, and hats off to them all. And uh, I know that this uh, doesn't just occur in Mount Pearl. It's, like I said, all throughout Newfoundland and Labrador, and we thank each and every one of them. Absolutely. And to uh, Jim Greenland and Dan Marr, well done. Good on you. And the other four who were nominated uh, to get that nod has uh, got to be satisfying as well. Uh, but uh, even if you never get a thank you, it's still critical that uh, people put whatever effort they can forward. Thank you very much, Mr. Lane, for bringing uh, all this to us today. Uh, thank you, Pete, for having me, and uh, we'll talk again soon. Next time we'll talk some politics. Sounds good. <laughs> all, all right. right. Okay. Bye-bye.